Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we are looking back at one of the leaks that we have seen in the past couple of days, and we are hoping that that SBC drops today. Yes, we are talking about the potential of a Footies Neymar SBC being released today. I want to take a look at the possibility of that and everything that went on with the game yesterday with Footies, the last Footies Friday of this promo with a huge St. Maximin SBC and the Varan footies vote winner, of course, with the new France Cup, with the new objectives for not just a dynamic duo of Mandanda and Amavi, but also a Jelson Martins. EA is going full rap mode with this last week of FIFA, and you know what? I'm kind of here for it. So, GG's for all the content yesterday. I want to talk about that and kind of how the server's being actually mudded yesterday and me just barely getting back on now was a really problematic thing for a lot of people, especially with redeeming swap packs and it kind of made the market move a little bit differently than we thought it was going to. So, without further ado, we're going to get into it today. If you're enjoying the videos, make sure to thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. But this is the SBC that we are all hoping for today, Mr. Neymar. Since this was leaked on Thursday, we are now just kind of waiting for it. And we know how it goes with leaks, right? A lot of times after we see a leak and after like Foot Sheriff tweets something out, usually it comes within a couple of days. Like last week we had Griezmann on Wednesday. The week before that we had Ferland Mendy on a Wednesday. Could this be like this Wednesday's Footy's Ultimate SBC, maybe, but I feel like it was leaked way too early for that to be the case. So everybody, myself included, we're now just waiting on when could this Neymar be? And of course, since it wasn't dropped yesterday, everybody thinks, hmm, could this be today? And I do think there is potential that it could be today. Again, considering that it was leaked when it was, I mean, this is a card that if you have a lot of fodder, or when you saw the leak, if you started saving your fodder, the earlier that it comes, the better, because then you don't have any more um, desire to put that fodder into any other SBCs because there's so many great ones that are out. But I really hope this comes today. Again, this Neymar will have a position change, most likely the striker as it's shown here, and new traits added to the cards. So that's, that's really the big SBC that we're looking out for and looking forward to today. Now, of course, we had the Varan, we had the Footies St. Maximin, and he was an ultimate SBC as well. So, you know how they do these ultimate Footies SBCs. Um, they do the requirements inside of here. They require like the promo cards inside of the SBCs instead of just squads with rating. So I guess with this Alan St. Maximin coming yesterday, that really throws off the ultimate footies trend of only being on Wednesdays. So Neymar could very well be today. And that's, I'm kind of expecting Neymar to be today. I feel like on Sunday, uh, we're going to get the uh, Usman Dembele, the second place winner, 99 rated SBC. So, I mean, just think about that. Three days in a row with St. Maximin, a 99 Varane, a Neymar SBC, and then a 99 Usman Dembele. Absolutely crazy. So, I, I'm, I'm kind of expecting this Neymar to be today. Not 100%, but I think it makes sense. And I think that EA just wants to full send this last week of footies. And that's why they're doing this. But I have no complaints. And of course, with this Neymar leak and with everything that's going on with the market, Neymar's TOTS card is down. It's it's back up a little bit. A lot of the market, as I'm recording right now, has rebounded a slight bit from even more panic selling that happened yesterday on Friday. And I want to take a look at some of that panic selling as well. And again, if, if this Neymar is to drop today, the footies version, you're going to see this left wing go down even further because people are going to sell the one they have to go get the brand new one. Yesterday, he went from 500k down to 366 after the leak, and then even further down on Friday, this is actually Friday, down to 260, and is now back up at 335k. There was a lot of panic selling right away when the Varane came out, when the Allen St. Maximin came out, because specifically a Neymar being a left wing was impacted directly by the Allen St. Maximin card also being a left wing, and probably a card people would go out and sell their Neymar to get the Allen St. Maximin. And go, to go ahead and do is a lot of people are also switching over to some French links in their clubs because of the France week. Finally, we had the France Cup and all that stuff going on. There's a really big, you know, push towards the France team this week with all that's going on in that regard. So, you know, that, that's that was kind of the story of the market yesterday. Now, I actually bought a Conte 
Um, I bought a Conte at 995K, sold it at 1.1. It looks like he's even gonna go up higher. Some of these cards are rebounding at the time that I'm recording this because this is like, you know, the, this is the normal bounce that you see on a promo Friday. I'm recording this early, right? Like promo Friday, you have the content drop, you have dr prices dropping, and then you see maybe two or three hours after that as people are going and playing weekend league or the cup mode that you see these prices bounce back. So Marcelo was 500, went all the way down to 360 and is now back up to 485. A lot of this panic was just simply because caused by the big SBCs, St. Maximin and a 99 rate of Ron. Those are massive SBCs. And the fact that we had swaps packs released yesterday on the game as well. People were going and opening their 82 times 25s all the way up to their 86 times 15s. And there was a lot of hype with that as well. And that really moved the market a lot. Now, speaking of those packs, I want to talk about fodder a little bit as well. Um, you know, with fodder yesterday, and especially with the servers being down, the servers, I mean, are just now coming back. And it's I know it's really early when I'm recording this. Um, but still, like, 84s, I think, had so much more room to rise uh, on Friday and into today on Saturday than they actually did. I mean, Harry Maguire is 4,000 coins, and a lot of your 84s are still down in the low 3K range because I just think that a lot of the demand yesterday was hurt by the servers not being up. And I think you would have seen 84s go up like 5,000 coins. I think you would have seen 85s go up a lot. But since that didn't happen, you know, you've got a lot of these cards that are low because a lot of people were going out yesterday and doing their swaps packing, their swaps token pack, swaps token packs, if I could speak, the swaps token packs, and then they were going from there and doing Varan. I literally opened all of my times 25 packs and I completed Varan and I have so many other cards in the club. That's literally how I did his SBC. A lot of people were doing that as well. And they were, you know, going out and buying some of this fodder, but with so many people not able to get on the servers, you know, if fodder does get low again tonight, Friday night into Saturday morning, I would really look at these cards and see them as potential for a bounce on Saturday as maybe people get on the game that weren't able to get on as much yesterday or weren't able to get on until late. Uh, you know, it's frustrating when the servers go down. People sometimes just log off and say, whatever, I'll worry about it later, that sort of thing. Um, you know, that could be something that you see today. Also, if Neymar comes out today, I mean, he is going to have a lot of squads. Like, we, should, we can talk about that for a second. If they drop this Neymar today, this is probably going to be the most expensive footies SBC that we will see during this promo. Of course, it's kind of the last week uh, of the promo anyway. Ferland Mendy is our most expensive SBC as of right now at 1.2 million coins. Of course, he was more expensive when he was first dropped. But I think that Neymar will end up being probably about, around 20 squads. I think Ferland Mendy is 17, right? That was the joke when he first was dropped that, oh my goodness, 17 uh, squads is way too many. I think this, I, I think the Neymar card today would, or if it comes today, would probably be about 20 squads. I really think that it would be that many. And it would probably be an ultimate footies as well, just like St. Max is, just like Griezmann and Mendy were, is you would need some of those foot birthday, foot fantasy, captain, team of the season, and shapeshifter cards. Um, whenever Neymar drops, I think you will need some of those. And that's actually interesting to note because a lot of your foot fantasy cards uh, continue to rise in price as uh, people are going out and doing the SBCs. Like I'm pretty sure these are like 35K. Oh, they're even higher now. 40K for foot fantasy cards, 40,000 coins for these foot fantasies. And I think if Neymar comes out, the foot birthdays, the foot fantasies, wow, 40K for these guys. Wow. I think those guys are at their max price range too. For like Allen, is Allen's max price, um, you know, 33K? 37,000 coins. So a lot of these cards are actually going extinct on the market. And it's not like I can snipe Odegaard at 32K and then resell him for 43. Sancho for 24, I could, you know, snipe there. But there's a lot of foot birthday cards that are kind of going extinct right now. Allen and Odegaard specifically because of how in demand they are. So maybe EA, it would be nice if you mixed it up a little bit and didn't require as many of those cards for the Neymar require, you know, instead of doing like foot birthday fantasy captain, do two different squads of team of the season players that are six or do like two squads of shapeshifter players. Cause it's not that difficult to get, especially team of the seasons or shapeshifters. So maybe just take out foot birthday and foot fantasy and maybe even foot captains and put in uh, two of the shapeshifters and team of the season into a Neymar. That would help a little bit. But again, I think you're just going to have to realize that a Neymar SBC is going to be very expensive. And I do think that it would make fodder move 
uh, maybe the high tier fodder a little bit. I mean, you, you go and look at 96 rated cards on the market and they're under 20K after today. 97 Kimmich is 23,000 coins. 96 Joe Cole, 16K. Like these cards have to be almost at their minimum, right? Minimum 11K. It's crazy how much uh, the fodder market dropped even more yesterday. Alfonso Davies is 21,000 coins. Like that's crazy. He was 34K, dropped all the way down to 21K. Some of the stuff like this 96 rated cards, these actually could see a bit of a bump if Neymar comes out and does have some higher rated squads inside of him, which I would imagine that he does. So that's kind of the things you have to think through today. Would it be smart to go out and try to snipe a foot birthday player if they were required again? You know, it seems dumb to say yes to that, but maybe because they'd be even harder to snipe and there'd be more competition if Neymar was to drop and to require like foot birthdays, captains, or, or that sort of thing. Um, you know, you could also just go and do player picks uh, because the player pick SBC is still available, 82 plus and the 75 times five. If you have a few coins to spare, you could of course go and, and use some of those to try to pack a foot birthday player. More difficult than it seems though. I mean, I did a set of 11 player picks last week and I got two captain's cards, but you know, I'm not seeing foot, foot birthday players and foot fantasy players popping that often from these. So that is a bit of a gamble, but it could be done. So maybe you try to do a mix of the two if possible. Um, but I think that these SBCs will be refreshed today as well on Friday as a part of content. 75.5, 82 plus player pick should be refreshed. Um, as well today, we didn't get the footies batch three times 10 yesterday um, as an SBC. I don't know if that's going to come out again for this second week of footies batch two, but we did not have that. The 85 times 10 will be refreshing today. The 86 plus player pick will be refreshing. Um, and then the 85 times five as well. So we have an 85 five and an 85 10, which I think both of these are fantastic. It gives you actually two chances to get, you know, foot birthday and captain's cards if they're extinct from these SBCs as well. If we're going to be trying to craft any of these high end SBCs um, on the game. So the foot hero uh, shapeshifters and captains is refreshing today. So really Saturdays have brought some decent SBCs inside of footies. They like to do the first two days pretty big in, in prior parts of the year. Saturdays were really quiet, but recently it seems that Saturdays seem to have some hype, which is another reason why Neymar maybe could drop today. Now, what I want to do a little bit more is talk about this Varane, uh, because I think it, it goes with, it shouldn't go without mentioning that this Varan got a massive, massive upgrade. And I know a lot of people are going out and doing this card uh, as a 99 rated upgrade. The reason why I did this is, again, it's an upgrade over his flashback card that so many of us have used uh, this year. It's such a great SBC. I think that the value for this is just fine. There's no value on Footbin as of right now, but I'm going to guess it's somewhere around like 700, 750K, which is kind of where I thought that it would come in. If you heard last night's video, that's kind of like, the reference point of where I thought it would be. And it seems like it's somewhere around there. Same thing with the St. Maximin. I actually don't know. They're both 10 squads, but it's actually interesting. Footbin's kind of frauding right now. If I go to the cheapest um, active challenges tab and I go and take a look at St. Maximin and you click in here and you see, okay, it actually shows SBCs for St. Maximin now. It did not show SBCs for Varan earlier. Yeah, so I don't know what's going on with Footbin and, and this stuff at the moment, but um, I think both of these guys are similarly priced. St. Max might be, I don't know if it's a little bit more or a little bit less because of the foot birthday captains and those sorts of requirements in his um, SBC. But both of these, we can say somewhere around like 500 to 750K. But after the fodder packs, pretty craftable. So that's a big thing from yesterday. It was a W. Now, of course, you can't talk about yesterday on foot without talking about Ben Yedder because this card is one that a lot of people have gone out and done with their swap rewards as well i mean this this is incredible so we have two ben Yetters. we have the left wing which is not a premium item four star skills and a five star weak foot for 20 tokens and for only seven tokens more you can get the premium footies ben Yetter, who is five five and i mean look at these attributes 99 pace all the way down 99 shooting all the way down and 99 dribbling all the way down as well absolutely incredible card this is in my opinion the best striker best attacker and the most ratty card in the game and it's it's no contest with those stats that i see right there they added some traits as well he's got leadership finesse flair outside foot chip shot so this ben Yetter card is definitely the best striker in the game 
Um, and, you know, fair play. If you went out and, and grinded and, and got those tokens to complete him, I thought it was more worth it to do the, the fodder packs first. That's why I went out and did my 82 to 85 fodder packs. I still have the 86 times 15. I need more tokens to finish that off. But, I mean, I might skip the 86 times 15 potentially and go and do this, this Ben Yedder after seeing just how cracked this card looks. Um, you know, that would be a very end game striker that you could put in your ultimate team. So, you know, of course, with the Ben Yedder, with the Varan, with the St. Max, I mean, we talked about the market drops earlier, but those big boy SBCs and the fodder packs and people being, you know, having the biggest focus on the SBCs, that's what we talked about in yesterday's video too, right? Was that the biggest focus of the content would be in that SBC section. And it absolutely was. And, and that's really why you saw the biggest price drops in the game. Now, I, I bought a Ginola yesterday. To trade with he is back up like 60k so he needs to go back up a little bit more but some of your top tier cards that's why there was so much panic selling cristiano ronaldo shapeshifters is 2.8 he was 2.5 messy shapeshifters which i would keep an eye on this messy shapeshifter card with the neymar dropping he is 1.6 he was down at 1.5 in the low 1.5s so he's back up a little bit and i think you'll continue to see the fluctuations throughout this weekend uh but if a neymar sbc drops you know I think that for most elite tier cards in this game that are still pretty expensive, you're going to see more market drops on the game uh, today on Saturday if that Neymar does happen to drop. And then some rebounds potentially on some of the cards like Messi, some of the more rare cards that would link to him. Maybe even like a Tots Mbappe, Team of the Year Mbappe could have a bit of a bounce back as people maybe buy a PSG card here or there to link up to that Neymar if he drops. Now objectives really quick to finish it off. We had the, the France Cup, I think, is just fine. Uh, it's it's basically the exact same as it was last week for the Bundesliga Cup. 10 games, 10 games a day, 18 France players in your squad. Uh, I played my first game, got kicked out because the servers were bad, and then didn't count. So I am, um, you know, 0 for 1 at the moment. I actually won the game too, so that kind of sucks. But I think this cup is just fine. 10 games a day and golden goal, no problems for me there. The Gelson Martins is so easy to get done, and it's actually really good if you're trying to grind the Portugal and, um, the, yeah, the Portugal One Nation friendlies to get some swap tokens. That's a really, really good card to have for that. You can get them done in a couple games of rivals or squad battles. And a dynamic duo I thought was cool. The only thing I would have really wanted more was a five star skills on Steve Mandanda. Um, he got the saves with the feed trade. I think they might have added some traits to him, but. You know, just get back to FIFA 21. He had the foot birthday card that had the five-star skills. It would have been a blast to get a five-star skiller, Steve Mandanda. But FIFA legend goalkeeper, uh, for me at least, nice card. Amavi is a nice one as well. So I don't have any problem with this objective um, in the game mode. I don't know what game mode this is. French Frenzy. I think you have to have like eight France players or something like that. And it's the classic match mode. So, you know decent right just decent content from that but it is very usable for french teams if you need those cards to finish out your uh france squad so yeah today on saturday really the big thing we talked about today and the biggest thing that we're looking forward to is the neymar right the neymar would be just huge content if it does drop now if it doesn't drop today then i think we maybe will be looking into the I, I don't see them dropping a 99 usman and a 98 neymar or a 99 neymar on the same uh on the same day so i i really doubt that it would be on sunday but it could be uh so we'll just continue to keep watching out for this neymar because whenever it drops it is going to be madness and that's an sbc that basically everyone is going to do so if some of your cards that went down yesterday have rebounded back up and you're like nate should i take the cash uh yeah i think stuff whenever neymar comes out is going to keep dropping your fodder will have a slight rise so if fodder does drop again one last comment for fodder if you're watching this video on Saturday morning and like, Nate, fodder's low again, thumbs up for me to go in and snag a few cards because I think people will be in the SBC section once again today. It's all about the craft. It's all about grinding the SBCs, the player picks, the upgrades to get these big boy SBC players completed like Varane, Mendy, and Griezmann, St. Max, and then maybe even a Neymar coming to the end of the game. So that's kind of the video for today, guys, because that's what's going on in this game. Good luck if you're playing Weekend League. As of right now when I'm recording, EA haven't said anything about like extending this Weekend League, bro, but they should because the servers were down for literally about three hours for some people, and I think that's long enough to extend the Weekend League. So that's the video for today. If you enjoyed it, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions, and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate Foot Account, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.